Okay, in the last video, I proposed a challenge to you. Make a square, out, make a circle out of squares. So hopefully you gave it a try. Um, I, hopefully you put it in the comments below, okay? So if you're watching this video right now, whatever you got, I don't care if it's crap, I don't care what, what it is, I want you to put it in the comments below, okay? So whether you go to, uh, whether you go to my website at cleverprogrammer.com and put it in learn python for beginners we have a comment section so for example you can go into one of these videos i'm gonna have this video up there as well when you guys come to watch i want you to put your code in the comments below i will look at it personally and one of our members will okay. also look at so, it okay so right over here uh, or you can just put it on the youtube channel that's totally fine as well all right so let's get to it first of all what i want to do is uh, I have the square function, which is really cool, but it's really repetitive, right? It does, um, I mean, if you can see, all, all a square is is you move forward and you turn right and you repeat that four times, right? So why do we have it here like this? This is really bad. Um, it, it, there's a lot of redundancy in our logic, right? Um, like if you were telling your sister, your brother, your dad, your friend, whoever, these steps, you would be like, move forward, turn right, and then do that four times. That's how you would tell it to them, okay? You wouldn't say, move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right, uh, move forward, and then turn right, and uh, oh yeah, move forward and turn right, right? So you wouldn't do that. So if we look at this, actually, we're doing this step once here, then we're doing the same step twice here, then we're doing the same step three times here and we're doing the same step four times here what does that mean when we're doing something over and over again well it sounds like a loop so i want this thing to happen four times how do i say do something in four times in python i just say for something in range so i'll say for i in range four that's it this will do that thing four times and I'll simply go here and remove that code. <laughs> okay, so already our code looks much nicer and that's a way better way of making a square, okay? So notice it still takes length and uh, angle. So if we're making a function, we need to pass those variables, length and angle, right? Uh, so then length here and angle here can become those. So we want like, let's say length to be 100 and our angle to be 90 degrees. So square makes a square. Let's verify our hypothesis here. And remember this function, all functions, you gotta put open close parentheses after them. And you gotta pass in an argument for this function here. So we're gonna say 100 for the length and I'm gonna say 90 for the angle, okay? I can also say it like this just so the code is you know, more clear what it's doing. Okay, I can say it like that, but let's keep it, keep it short and sweet here. Let's run it. And that should make a square, right? It made a square, great. Mm, now, what we're gonna do is, well, we want to keep making squares, right? So we know we're gonna put it in some kind of loop. Let's say we wanna do it 100 times, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put it in the loop because um, I wanna make a lot of squares. And each time I make a square, I wanna turn. So let me first get out of this loop and let me do this. Let me say my turtle dot right 90 degrees. Okay, and let me do this now. And you'll see that as soon as I make that, I turn a, uh, turn a little bit, actually not 90 degrees. Let's turn, I don't know, 10 degrees. 90 degrees is silly. So I make a square and then I turn just like that. I'm ready to make another square. So let's do that. Let's make another square right here. I make a square, I turn a little bit, I make another square. Okay, you get the idea? Now we need this process to repeat a lot of times. So we need to make a square and we need to turn right, right? So it's really this step and we wanna do it again and again and again and again. So sounds like we need to put it in a loop um, let me uncomment that line, hit tab to indent it under the for loop so it knows it's a part of a for loop. 
This variable here does not need to be called i. By convention, in the world of Python, we usually call it i. You can call it bananas, you can call it that, you can call it an underscore, you can call it whatever you want, okay? Um, just a little bit about variables. Variables can't start with the number, like five or something, okay? So, perfect. This looks pretty good, let's give it a try. Okay, I make a square, I turn a little bit, I make another square, I turn a little bit, I make another square, I turn a little bit. Beautiful, that's looking really good. Let me close this. Let me make the speed really fast. So let me make this, uh, say turtle, that speed zero, and that makes it run really, really fast. So it's going and going and going and going and going and going and going. But now notice the problem. It's not drawing anything new, but it's moving. Hmm. So it's moving a lot, but it's not making anything new. Where does it stop making new things? Let's check it out. Let's say we want to do this how many times? Let's say we want to do this um, 30, or let's say we want to do this loop 40 times. Let's take. Let's check it out. So let's see where it stops making it new. So the last four times it ran, you guys probably didn't catch it, but the last four times it ran, it actually didn't make anything new. So the 37th time it ran, it didn't make anything new. 38th time, 39th time, and 40th time. So what the heck happened? Well, here's what happened. 360 degrees, right? Those, that's the number of degrees in a circle. So a circle has 360 degrees. Now we wanna make the circle like really nice and dense. We don't want it to be how it was. It, our circle looked pretty empty. Uh, and the reason is, okay, so the circle has 360 degrees. Now, if we're turning 10 degrees every single time, right, what's 360 divided by 10? That's how many times we can go in a direction if we turn uh, right only 10 degrees. Is 360 divisible by 10? And the answer is yes. And the answer is actually 36, right? 360 divided by 10, obviously you don't have to be a math genius to know that, but you get back 36, which means 10 perfectly goes into 360. And isn't that awesome? that that's the number of times you can actually make unique squares if you do if you choose 10 degrees it's beautiful seeing divisibility in visualization so even math starts to become beautiful when you put it in terms of computer programming you guys this was one of my most favorite discoveries and i still get excited when i think about this so i think that's pretty freaking awesome what can we do well pick a number that is not divisible right, that 360 is not divisible by. So how about a great number? I don't know, like a prime number. And what's a prime number that's really close to 10? 11, so let's pick 11, right? Because 360 divided by 11 gives you something that's not divisible, right? Like 360 is not divisible by 11, 11 is a prime number. So let's run this bad boy and check it out. And let's run it 100 times, right? Not 40, 100 times. And let's check it out. It's turning 11 degrees every time it makes a square. You'll notice that it almost never repeats itself. And it'll probably never repeat itself and it just keeps making the circle darker and darker and darker and denser. And that's how you want it, right? Look at how beautiful that looks. Dark in the middle and starts to get lighter on the outer edges, and those webs are interweaving, and it's gorgeous, right? Bonus, bonus project I can give you guys for this is bring some colors out, make some cool designs. Go look up trinket.io. Go to that website, check it out. Um, look at some examples. Paste your code below. You can help out other people. I can help you out if I look at your code, you have some errors, or it looks really cool, and maybe I can help you make it look even better. Or maybe you'll just make something that'll blow my mind because I haven't made such beautiful circles um, out of squares. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it makes sense. Please like the video, subscribe. I'll see you in the next lesson.